Good morning to each and everyone. I am Arabella E. Amiro. So today I am going to discuss or to show how to compute standard deviation in a measures of dispersion. In computing the standard deviation, we have uh, steps. So these are the steps. For the step 1, compute the mean if it is unknown. Step 2, list all the data values x in a column. This will be the first column. For the step 3, provide the second column by subtracting the mean from each data value. For the step 4, in the third column, square each of the results from step 2. For the step 5, add all the results in column 3. And for the last step, substitute all the necessary information to the formula. Be careful to check the data is taken from a sample or population. So, to find to find the mean, we have to add the different data values here. So our data value, so our data values here is this. So to get the mean, let's simply add the different data values here. So by added and divided by the total numbers of data values, which is 30. So, by added here, divided by 30 is equal to 1,578 divided by 30 is equal to 53. That means our mean is 53. So, for the second step, we need to copy the data values in a column. This will be our first column and, we'll, and we will mark it as X. So, in the second step, we have to copy the data values. And we will mark it as X. Okay? For the third step, we need to provide another column in this. And this will be X minus mean. So, our mean is 53. And by doing that, we have 52 minus 53 is equal to negative 1. The same procedure will be done for the data values here. So we get the fo following values for the step 3. So for the step 4, all we need to do is to take the squares of each value here. So we have negative 1 square is equal to 1 and negative 8 square is equal to 64 and so on. So for the fifth step, we need to add fourth column and that will give us, so for the fifth step, we need to add this results. And that will give us 2,368. 2, and so, for the last step, all we need to do is to supply the necessary information to the formula of the standard deviation. So, it is the square root of the summation of the between of the square between the difference of x and the mean divided by n minus 1. So our numerator there will be taken from will be taken from the step 5 which is the 200 I do 200 rather 2368 while the denominator is 30 minus 1. And so we have square root of 2368 divided by 29 is equal to square root of 82 or approximately 9.5 or 9 kilograms. 